oh you know yeah nah long hair no nah, it's not for me it's usually genetic these guys are lying um it's time consuming i i would rather be focusing on things that matter to me and i don't want my hair to be controlling my life and i want to be free and have no pressure and i hate you know having a whole day to wash my hair we gotta talk about this <music> After such a great impact and so many positive attributes and outcomes that have come from the influence of the natural hair community on black women and women of color, African, African-American, kinky, curly, coily ladies, this is one of the least videos I thought I'd ever be making. Unfortunately, there's a group of people out there that actually look down upon people that want to grow their hair long and healthy and this is very sad to me because while the natural hair community is not perfect okay there have been some great positives and if there was just one positive that we could get or gain from the influence of naturalistas and the natural hair movement it should be the fact that we are free free to wear our hair the way we like free to grow our hair as short or as long as we like, free to wear our hair in its most natural state. And the last people that I expect to be bashing other women that want to grow their hair or have um, women that have a length retention goal as a natural hair goal, it's black women. I, I really do not expect for us to be pulling each other down and looking down upon each other and you know shaming each other really for wanting well for for our sisters wanting long hair a lot of people that see natural hair as a burden or time consuming or difficult to manage are actually the same people that seem to minimize or diminish or shame you know, other women that want to spend time, invest time, you know, into caring for their hair so that it grows long. They try to paint a picture as though taking care of your hair and wanting for it to grow long is too time consuming and it's a vain goal to have and you should be spending your time doing better, more meaningful things, etc. And unfortunately, I disagree. I think everyone really should be allowed. <laughs> everyone should be allowed to be who they are and live the life that they want and choose how they want to wear their hair and the time they want to invest into their hair because it is your hair. So guys, this is a sad reality and in as much as I never thought that I would be making this video after you know over a decade of trying to empower African women women of color to embrace their natural hair this is the last thing i thought i would be talking about my own sisters our own sisters pulling each other down and trying to shame each other because we've got different hair goals yeah that is sad and we have to talk about it a lot of long-haired naturals are actually looked at as being unkempt they are viewed as lazy or dirty or obsessed with length. Some of them are labeled, you know, liars or fake uh, influences because, you know, it's the genes. That's why she has long hair because of the genes. Of course, everyone's makeup all the way from your hair to your toes is genetic. There is a genetic component your texture, your color, all of that, the thickness, the density. However, length retention, guys, has a lot to do with the care of the hair. When I was growing up, nobody had bra strap length. I didn't know anyone with bra strap length, let alone waist length. So there's definitely something here. And it's sad that there's now a community of ladies that have taken it upon themselves to start belittling and shaming women that actually want to grow their hair long um it's sad because the natural hair community was supposed to produce more confident women that embrace their texture liberate uh, uh women of color to embrace who they are feel comfortable in their hair etc however 
there seems to be a divide. I think to some extent, yes, we are free to wear our hair, cut our hair, dye it, whatever. But it, it seems we're still struggling to coexist, okay? We still cannot say, oh yeah, you like long hair, that's fine. I like mine short, or I like bold hair, I like a bold head, or I like to dye my hair. There's nothing wrong with wanting long hair. There's nothing wrong with wanting short hair, or dyed hair, or a tapered cut, or whatever. We're free. But to say, oh, you know, yeah, nah, long hair, no, nah, it's not for me. It's usually genetic, these guys are lying. Um, it's time consuming. I, I would rather be focusing on things that matter to me and I don't want my hair to be controlling my life and I want to be free and have no pressure and I hate, you know, having a whole day to wash my hair. We're smarter, we're wiser. We've gone through a whole process, a whole decade of discovering our hair and we had to do it on our own. So don't spit on the journey that allowed us to get to this place. We should still be proud of the information you know, whether it be error or not, but a shift has happened with African women where we're, we're, we're more confident and happier to wear our hair naturally, whether it's long or not. And to shame women that want long hair is just, it puts a bad taste in my mouth because there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if I want to think about, you know, or plan, for example, how I'm going, if I'm going to swim, if I'm going to the beach, you know, what I'm going to wear, you know, because of my hair. For me, that's a small sacrifice uh, when compared to actually getting long hair. I, I, I like long hair that much. And I, I hate I hate it when women or my sisters make me feel like, oh, you know, they're length obsessed. Uh, I think everyone should be allowed to have their pre uh, preference. We don't get this in Caucasian circles, but blacks, Mm, we like to put each other down. Um, so I encourage you to embrace your hair, but also to encourage your fellow sister, regardless of whether you have the same goals and same preferences. It's okay. I like long hair. I want long hair. I want to get long hair. I'm happy to do what it takes to get long hair. I'm happy with the sacrifice. <laughs> no problem. It's not an inconvenience. I do what I like when I like. I go where I want, when I want. And if my hair uh, needs a bit of prep before I go where I wanna go, that's fine by me. There's no problem. Uh, there's no stress here. I enjoy what I'm doing with my hair. So I hope you're enjoying your hair as well. I hope you're positive. I hope no one's making you feel like your preference is unusual or not acceptable or crazy because you're allowed to be who you are. You're allowed to choose what you want and how you want to wear your hair. And long hair naturals, they're not dirty, they're not unkempt, they're not lazy. I mean, I do use the term lazy natural here, but it's just, I guess a phrase to sort of say the bare minimum, okay? Not literally lazy, but lazy as in, I'm not interested in doing 15 steps, I'd rather do three. So yeah, I'm a lazy natural, but no, we're not dirty, we're not unkempt, and we are normal, happy, healthy human beings, just like you, who washes your hair every week or every day. Mm. End of rant. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Are you on a length retention journey? Are you happy with your short hair? Is your hair cut, dyed? However, what other traits have you noticed with long hair naturals? And yeah, let's interact in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe. Until next time, I'm out.